Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Keystone Bullet Premier 19FB. This is an awesome couples coach. You'll see you have a slide out Udinette helping to open up this main living space. Rear bath floor plan, beautifully appointed. One of the things I really like you'll notice right away is the barreled ceiling. If you take a look, it feels nice and big in here even though it is a shorter floor plan and that has a lot to do with it. If you're a taller person but you don't want you know, to tow a huge camper, this may be a great option for you. I'm six foot and you see I have plenty of space here. You'll also notice you have a ducted AC which is also something that's a little bit more rare in this size layout. So you can certainly appreciate that. There is a quick dump, you can open it up, kind of cool down this main living area or you can close it off to have it duck through a little bit quieter that way as well. If we take a look at the kitchen, you'll notice the gorgeous solid surface countertops, actual solid surface in here. You know, again, in a smaller travel, tra travel trailer, not super common. And because it is solid surface, it allows them to undermount the sink. You will see the sink top cover on there. This of course can be used as a cutting board if you so choose. When we remove that, you have the large undermount stainless steel bowl. Also, you have the high-rise pull-out faucet there just to make washing and rinsing dishes that much easier. Uh, over to the side here is the recessed three-burner cooktop glass cover on that as well. So again, you can utilize that as a back or utilize that for prep space. Moving ahead of myself, uh, backsplash. You'll see kind of like the gray subway tile back here. Plus, the glass kind of helps there as well. As I mentioned, three burner cooktop, the front one is high output and the knobs do light up. You'll also see the oven underneath if you want to do some baking. Plenty of storage underneath this countertop. Starting right here, you'll see the big shelf along the back, plumbing access there too, enough space for a trash can. You have another door, kind of shared access, show you that in just a second. First, I wanna show you the two full extension ball bearing drawers. You have a spot for flatware, some of your larger utensils, hot pads, whatever else you need. And as I mentioned, that shared space has a couple of different access points. Uh, if we take a look underneath the cabinets, LED light as well as an electrical outlet in case you need to plug anything in. Beautiful cabinetry in here, I may add. I really love the colors. It's kind of like a, almost like a gray, you know, it's, it's uh, a lot lighter than what we've seen in a lot of manufacturers. I think they did a wonderful job. Also, I like the styling on the doors. You know, again, something we see a little more in, in the residential market. And you have the uh, the stainless steel or brushed nickel pulls there. I guess a little more stainless steel than brushed, but uh, good storage right up top there. Microwave over to the side. You'll see the hood underneath. Dometic fridge freezer combo. This one does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over. Now in the back is that rear bath. We'll make our way right on back here. You'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet storage behind that. Of course, your sink top there, electrical outlet. Little bit of storage as well as plumbing access right down there. And if we make our way up, I'll open all this stuff up so you can take a look. Good storage here, it actually runs back a little ways, which is great. And right up top, you get that massive wardrobe space. As far as, far as the toilet, I'll take a seat. You can see I have a uh, decent space. Again, I'm six foot tall. I have plenty of leg room, plenty of shoulder space. Also, it's a porcelain bowl, meaning that it's a lot easier to clean so you'll be able to keep the toilet looking great for a lot longer. You have a tub shower in this unit. Now, while I don't think the tub was you know, completely necessary because chances are you won't be taking a bath in here, uh, the nice thing about a tub is because it has a curtain, the curtain does stay in the tub a little bit better than it would a normal shower, so you won't make quite as much of a mess. Also, again, at six foot, you can see I can stand all the way to the wall and I can still clear the ceiling just by a little bit. So and even if you're six two, you can probably still uh, shower in here. And then you will see the shelving along the corner as well as the hand wand just to make that showering a little bit easier on you. Uh, robe hook right there, great to have, need to have it, place to hang your towel up or your robe if you rock a robe while you camp. Uh, entertainment center, TV right in the center, storage up top, beautiful decorative glass. You can see the storage space up there. Underneath, you know, pretty standard. You have a space for your auxiliary equipment here, a little bit of storage underneath that. Multimedia center there. This is uh, a DVD player as well. If you wanna watch a movie, it also controls the speakers in here as well as outside. And your thermostat is located right there on the back wall. This one does control both your heat as well as your AC. It's also worth mentioning folks, this is on a swing arm mount. So, you know, if you wanna kind of bring it out and around to, you know, uh, get a better angle to dine at, something like that, that is cer certainly something that you can do. Speaking of that dinette, as I mentioned, large U-shaped dinette, 
Couple of great things about this. One is it gives you kind of a, a congregation spot. If you have, you know, friends over, you can uh, put everyone, you know, in here. You can very comfortably sit three people, maybe four if you, you know, squeeze in on the back side here. But it, it get, you know, that way you can have a couple's night, something like that. But uh, the other great thing I like about it is it does drop down into a pretty large bed. So if those guests that come over want to stay the night, you are able to accommodate them here, which again, in a travel trailer this size, it's nice to be able to do that. Windows all the way around to let in some natural light and on the sides. Again, uh, it, this is a deep enough slide. It allows them to put the windows on the side for cross ventilation. It's pretty great. You'll also see the dual electrical outlets there so you can plug in electronics. And one of my favorite parts is this right here. Take a look at that. Huge, easy access storage. While a swing door is great, generally if you need to get something a little bit further back, you have to get down your hands and knees. Here, not at all. You just open it up, pull it, you're good to go. When we take a look at the very front, one of the things you'll notice right away is the bed because it is a 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So, you know, you no longer have to worry about your feet hanging off in here. There is pretty good storage underneath. This unit does come with your Aussie grill. You can see that right there. I believe it's Aussie brand anyway. It comes with the grill. I'm, unless they've changed it, I'm pretty sure it's Aussie. But that, uh, that is your grill, so that way you can do some grilling outside. You'll see across the top, you have additional storage there. Mirrored wardrobe with hanging rod. If you want a TV, this is where it will mount. And another cool thing, take a look right over here. You will see this one has a laundry chute. The thing I like about this, folks, is the fact it is on the off door side. Far too often when they give you these, they have them on the door side and you know, on the camp side. And that's where I store everything, right? Because I want to be able to access it. So I like having it over here. Also, if you drop down underneath, it's, it's kind of tough to see. Um, but th in the very, very back, you do have some plugins. So that way, if you need a spot to plug your phone in at night, you can do that right there on your nightstand. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Keystone Bullet Premier 19FB. Starting off right up front is the power tongue jack. In fact, if you take a look, this one actually has the Norco power stabilizing system. So very simple and easy to use. You can see everything you need, your tongue jack, as well as all of your stabilizer jacks there, retract and extend, power button. Very simple and self-explanatory and easy to use, uh, but that is a wonderful system to have. Right behind that are two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. You'll also see the rails there for your battery. And if you take a look right up top, you see the gorgeous front cap. It kind of has a, a nose that protrudes out. You know, it, uh, it's a little concave right here on both sides. You have the LED lights in there. But not only does it look great, because it kind of has like that faux windshield look to it, which I love, but also adds some insulation value. And it is a true front cap, meaning that if you take a look on the side here, it does wrap around to the side to help prevent water intrusion. Because now, you know, whereas most have a seam right here on the corner, and that's where the water is getting in at, now the water would actually have to, well, of course, get through the silicone, but then make its way in behind to be able to get to the, the front end, and chances are that's just not going to happen. If we look at the pass-through, you have a covered hinge on there, so that way it's not rusting out. Also, it is slam latch, as you can see, plus it is a magnetic catch, so that way you can put it up just like so. And when you take a look inside, you will see it is a very large, wide-open pass-through, plenty of room in here. You have a pegboard running the entire length as well, so that way you're able to hang up some tools or just better organize that pass-through area. And it is wide enough, you, might, you can probably fit in most of your larger chairs as well as you know, your grill, something like that, if you want to toss that in there. You will notice the, uh, the Solid Step by LCI. This is a great step system. It is, just like the name implies, quite solid. I'm over 200 pounds. You can see I can kind of hop up and down on this thing and you don't get that springboard effect. It hardly flexes at all aluminum treads which aren't going to rust out plus the grip tape for a little extra traction if it's wet and you have the larger foldable grab handle here so that way you have even more control when entering the rv power awning up top with an led light strip couple outside speakers which are connected to that multimedia center inside but again that is bluetooth capable if we drop down a little bit if uh, music isn't your thing you'd rather watch tv no big deal you'll see your cable and satellite outlets as well as electrical outlet the mounting bracket is up a little ways, or rather the backer for it, so you'll see where that is there. Uh, but that way you can watch TV right here outside. And if you take a look down underneath, you'll see a couple things. One are aluminum alloy wheels, which are going to be beautiful now and in several years because aluminum doesn't rust. Plus you'll see how far the tires are apart, that's because it utilizes a spread axle system. 
which will give you better tow ability when traveling down the road because it helps reduce sway having that wider, uh, that wider stance. Coming around to the back, you will see the square tubular bumper with end caps gives you a convenient spot in which you can store your sewer hose. However, I would probably store it on the other side of the bumper because this is your grill mount, so you'll have your grill right back here. Uh, unfortunately, the black tank flush is also located here, but you know that definitely shouldn't backwash on you, so it should be all good. But that prevents you from having to stick a hose down the toilet to wash it out, uh, so it's definitely a great thing to have. Also mounted on the back is your spare tire with a cover. Cool thing about that is it's very easy to access. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees, and the cover helps keep it in good condition. Right up top is backup camera prep. So if you want a backup camera, having the prep makes it easier to install, meaning it will save you money on labor. Making our way up a little bit, this is your uh, multi-source controller. You know what, I'm actually gonna open this up for you just so you can kind of take a look. It's nothing super fancy, but you'll see these on a lot of Keystone models. So if you're wondering what it looks like, that's literally all that's in there. But what that essentially is, is your inlets for your cable and your satellite, and then that will direct it to any of the TV. So you plug your cable in there, and then you just run it from any of your other controllers to that TV, and you're good to go. Super, super simplified and easy to use. 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in here. Outside shower with both hot and cold water access is directly underneath that. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2020 Keystone Premier 19FB. If you're interested in this beautiful little travel trailer and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.